This video is for my Windows follower and this is by popular request. So many of you have been asking me on how to set or how to add an ICC profile to the display setting dialog. In this video, I'm going to show you just that. This will also help you as well. For instance, if you run an update on Mac OS or you have done a recalibration and for some reason, Windows decide to kick out your ICC or ICM profile from the system dialog. I'm Art Suwensang and this is Art is Right. Before we start, please subscribe if you are new and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new guides like this. On a Windows system, to change the ICC color profile or the ICM color profile for your display, in this case, you would right click anywhere on the desktop and then click on display setting. It will pull up this display setting dialog. In this dialog, the very top there, you can pick between the different dis displays that you have hooked up to your system. You can also rearrange this display around however you like. And if you're ever at any point unsure which display you're looking at, simply click on identify. It will pop up a number on the bottom right corner of the display telling you which display you have and which one is what number. So in this case, display number one, I have that click. Under color profile is empty. This is my laptop display. There is no color profile for that right now. I'm going to leave that as is. Display number two though, this is my BenQ SW271 hardware calibrate display. And I have run numerous hardware calibration on this display and what I would like to do is access those ICC profiles. So in this case, under color profile, I can go there and then click, but I'm only finding the last profile or excuse me, I'm only finding one profile here in my drop down list when I know I have much more than that or I have a few more that I've run a calibration on. So how do we go and add this? Well, in this case, what you have to do is scroll down to the very bottom of this dialog and there's going to be a link called advanced display setting. Click on that link. It will pull up the advanced display setting dialog again. Don't worry about picking the display at the top here. It's not that important right now. Come down here towards the middle and then click on display adapter property for display two or display one. It doesn't really matter whichever one it is. So a new dialog like this will pop up and this is like the driver dialog. On the third tab of that dialog, there is on the third tab of the dialog, it says color management. Click on that and then click on the color management button one more time. Now that we're at this color management screen, this is where we would go in and add the profile to our display. So in this case, I have profile number one. That's my laptop display. Again, going to ignore that. Don't worry about the profile there. But for display number two, I have the SW271. And the moment I click on that, you will see that a profile, the ICM profile drop down that list. What I like to do is add at least one or two more profiles here that's related to this display in there. And the way how you do that is simply come to the bottom here and click on add. You will notice that if the profile is installed at the correct location on the computer, you will see that the profile will show up here. If your profile is installed somewhere else or you put it somewhere else like on the desktop and so forth, you can also click on browse and find that profile in its respective location where you have put it. That's another way to add the profile to your system as well. Personally, I recommend leaving the profile in the system folder where it belongs just because then everything is organized and the system can load that much easier and you don't have to worry about that file getting removed at some point in the future. All right. So at this point, now that I have this, I have a few profiles with SW271. I would like to add the SW271 D65 Adobe RGB to here. So I would highlight that profile and then I would click on OK. Now what I have done here is add that profile to my list so I can switch between the two. And for instance, you will see right there at the very first one, it says default. So because that's the first profile that we have. But for instance, if I want to make this D65 Adobe RGB the default, I simply come in here and click on set as default profile. And now the system will change the default profile that I'm using for my hardware calibration mode. From here, what you can do is simply close out this dialog. And I'm also going to go back here on this setting screen. And if we come to display number two now, the moment we click on the drop down list, we will have two different profiles. And you can have many more profiles than that, but this is one way that you can go in to add profiles in your display setting dialog so that you can switch them dynamically when you switch to calibration mode and so forth. So in this case, if your system has gone through an update or if there are any updates to your driver and so forth, you can simply right click on the desktop display setting, 
come in here and then highlight the display, making sure that the color profile for those display are the proper one that you want to have listed for your display. So anyway, I hope that you find this guide on how to add an ICM profile to your color profile list on Windows System Helpful and also where to find them and so forth. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, I just write.